I'm asking you to speculate. Do you have hope? And this is a total speculation. You don't have to put any put down a, even a penny on this bet. Do you think that we understand uh, the pathology of Alzheimer's disease enough? And do you think they've found enough targets? And do you think they are, there are enough drugs in the pipeline that 20, 30 years from now, like when we get fusion and energy, we might have a cure or a significant treatment for Alzheimer's disease? I think we'll be able to do a whole lot better than we do now. I think cure is a tall order. Okay. Do we understand the pathology? We understand a lot more about the pathology. As I say, there are still debates to be had. There's a couple of different ways that we know for sure brains get damaged in Alzheimer patients. Some of the debate is whether that damage is a marker of the disease or is the causal thing that is right. making nerve cells not work. Right. There's a certain amount of work still to be done about that particular issue. But I am hopeful that, I don't know if it's 20 to 30 years, it might be less, mm -hmm. but it, it could be that timeline or longer, that we are going to be able to intervene to allow whatever is happening that is producing diseases like Alzheimer's disease so that they will progress less and produce symptoms less. But there, there are a lot of incredibly difficult things still to be done to make that possible. And one of them is, when do we intervene? If we look at Alzheimer disease as, one, as just one example of a dementia-causing disease, but a, the most common one, this is an extraordinarily slow-moving disease. So do I do something now when someone is 20 years old that, mo could, that could be a risky treatment, that would be an expensive treatment, that is a treatment that we only have so many resources to be able to give, right. an IV infusion that we give right. once a month? Right. Do I do that at age 20? Particularly when we don't think that that 20-year-old was going to have shown symptoms of Alzheimer's until maybe they were 60, 70, 80. Right, and this infusion might be a $100,000 infusion. When do we do right, that? Right, right. Now, we've, we've had similar kinds of problems in medical care before. When do we start doing colonoscopies right. to screen against colon cancer? Mammograms. Oh, when do yeah. we do mammograms? Right. Do we do that on a five-year-old? Do we wait until someone's 72? Right. You can think about the extreme. When do we start to do such things? Yeah. So it's one thing to say we should do preventive medicine. Who can disagree with that? Right. But the real critical question is when do we intervene? And what's mm -hmm. it worth to you? What risk are you willing to take to do an intervention? These issues aside, I think we're going to start to sort that out. I think some of these drugs that are in development now that some of which will get approved, and which are currently going to be used to people who are at the very beginnings of having symptoms. Remember, that's not when their disease begins, but when they're first starting to show symptoms of their disease. We know we should intervene with these people if we can. We're going to get smarter and better able to intervene with people like that a little bit before that. We're going to find, I suspect, a combination of so-called biomarkers, blood tests and other kinds of tests, to say this is a person who we think there's a reasonable probability will start having symptoms within X number of years. And as a community, we can debate and decide what we like about this. As a community, we can say, we're willing to put up with this amount of risk to help prevent dementia in the next X number of years. And I think that's where we will, we will eventually get at. Uh, but it's still going to be very tricky to know who we provide that, that kind of treatment to and how we're going to pay for all of it. Right. One of the things that was controversial about the drug approved in June of 21, Adjuhelm, was that it was being offered at a very expensive rate. Very expensive. $56,000 a year, Yeah, said the drug company. Yeah. And that's a, 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 an infusion, an IV infusion that would be given once a month. Right. So you also have to go to a place that does an infusion. That costs oh, yeah. money. And there would be other tests that would be that would be needed. And how many kids could you save right. with that money with something cheaper? Exactly. Right. Right. So right. we we think in the United States, for example, there's probably about six or seven million people with symptomatic Alzheimer's disease. Surely, many times that number with un, with asymptomatic uh, Alzheimer's disease. That is to say, their brain is accumulating that damage, but with no symptoms yet. Um, should we give fifty-six thousand dollars a year for each right. of those individuals? 